fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D-Rose report. Well, we might as well talk about it. Everybody's been bitching on the internet about it. Far former WWE star Chris Jericho addressed fans' criticism in regards to Christian dropping his newly uh, World Heavyweight Championship title to Randy Orton on Tuesday's SmackDown taping in uh, Orlando, which we'll see tomorrow. He wrote on his Twitter that everybody's bitching about Christian losing the title. Have you ever thought that it may be just the beginning of a bigger storyline? So calm down, he's saying. Upon the news uh, surfacing, uh, fans uh, bombarded WWE's Twitter account with negative feedback. Joey Styles resp responded to upset fans with the following. When sending hate tweets to myself or WWE because of Christian for peeps at Randy Orton or at uh, World Wrestling Heavyweight uh, Champion, please be PG, he says. Meanwhile, Orton responded to the negativity about, uh, by re uh, re retweeting uh, the following message. He says, you won the title. Vince has no idea how much people are hating you on the internet. He said, hope you continue to lose all your fans. That was on uh, his uh, tweet, uh, on his uh, Twitter account. And then he later added, biggest change from Raw to SmackDown, arrogance times jealousy plus spoilers, entertaining sweet uh, tweets. Keep them coming, he, <laughs> coming, he says. He's just kind of laughing at all. He's not used to people knowing ahead of time what was going to happen because it was on Raw and it was live. Anyway, uh, tough enough contestant. This is a little out of the closet, I guess. Tough enough contestant Luke Robinson is featured on a gay oriental wrestling uh, website called BG East Wrestling. And according to the website description, it features gay oriented, oriented wrestling videos and DVDs. Uh, the website con contains adult oriented subject matter and is intended to be viewed by people uh, 21 years or older. Uh, so I'm not sure whether he's involved in something there or whether they just got a picture of him up. Trish Stratus, by the way, posted a video of herself introducing the Stratosphere Yoga to Tough Enough contestants. Uh, <clears throat> Stratus discovered yoga following a career-threatening injury in uh, 2005, which uh, not only uh, helped her rehabilitate the injury, uh, and returned to the squared circle full time, but it led her uh, down a path where she continues today. She shows contestants uh, her own personal style of yoga and development, describes it as a total mind body workout. I can do the mind workout. By the way, Lex Luger is now working with WWE. Uh, there's a large interview on uh, online. Look it up, find it. Don't want to waste by 10 minutes uh, on this. And no, my program still won't let me go over 10 minutes. I don't know why. It's to your benefit, probably. Anyway, new uh, WWE Hall of Famer. This is kind of bad to be stepping your foot in this. The uh, new Hall of Famer, uh, Road Warrior Animal, who is scheduled to host a live, uh, Raw Live event later this month at the uh, MTS uh, Center in Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, does not believe that all WWE talent is in compliance with the organization's stringent drug policy testing. Speaking out the Power Slam magazine, days before his induction to the Hall of Fame, Animal was asked about the importance and uh, the larger than life uh, steroid enhanced physiques were uh, you know, uh, to the images of the road warrior. He's, uh, he was also asked if the team would have been in the same force if they uh, Debuted in the modern WWE era and performed a you know where they performed drug testing. He said, "Let's be honest. The people right now, look at the guys that are in WWE now. If uh, anybody thinks that everybody there is a hundred percent clean, they've got to be smoking something. WWE's not issued a suspension, by the way. This is what I'm saying uh, related to performance-enhancing drugs in over two years, two and a half years, and uh, the last one was uh, Dolph Ziggler." October 10th, 2008. But uh, Anwell was talking about when they were using steroids and carrying it on their self back in the day, they were legal. Uh, and they're legal now if you got a uh, prescription. 
Anyway, I was telling you yesterday about uh, China and uh, Jeff Jarrett. Anyway, former uh, WWE Diva China uh, will make her uh, TNA wrestling debut Tuesday's Impact taping from Orlando, uh, set to air a week from Thursday. Oh, well, a week from today. Uh, 512 should be on Spike. China was uh, revealed to be Kurt Angle's love interest in TNA and uh, has been teased over the past week or so. Uh, not saying who it was, but uh, anyway, she's going to be wrestling in a mixed tag match with Kurt Angle against Jeff Jarrett and uh, Karen Angle at uh, TNA Sacrifice uh, May 15th. Now, you know, TMZ is normally in everybody's business. Well, they're in China's. According to TMZ, China has not signed a deal with TNA and is currently working on a handshake deal which, with a very, very short leash. And after checking with, uh, oh, I feel like I'm sneeze. Anyway, after checking with uh, one of our, uh, one of the sources at TNA, uh, have learned that there currently is a storyline planned for China that would uh, have a wrestle at TNA June pay-per-view as well. But. It's all based on how things come out in the next few weeks because you never know, China may not show up. She may come in just, you know, as uh, in good a shape as <laughs> Jeff Hardy. Who knows? TM TMZ also reported, uh, or also notes that China has been offered a one-year contract to wrestle in Japan for uh, wrestling legend uh, Antonio Noki's uh, federation there. So. And they say that her uh, muscular, you know, physique is pretty much gone. She's just uh, down to two great big things. <laughs> no muscles, though. Anyway, on the day uh, back, now think back to 2002. What happened on this day? 2002. WWF died. Yep. Officially, it got renamed WWE. WWE referee Chad uh, Patton turns 35 today, while Hall of Famer Bill Watts turns 72. TNA Sunday's uh, WWE Extreme, paper, uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view from Tampa, Florida drew about 10,000 fans. And it's been confirmed that WWE released Brett DiBiase from his developmental contract. Don't know any more on that or not. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard anything that why he was released, but uh, I thought that was kind of a strange deal. WWE brand is heading to Mexico this week for a four-day tour. Raw uh, superstar Ray Mysterio not going. Sin Cara be there. And now besides an occasional Raw appearance, both John Cena and uh, The Rock will be using Twitter over the next 11 months to keep their feud going for WrestleMania 28. All right, John Moxley, by the way, started with uh, Florida's Championship uh, Wrestling on May 2nd. No word on, uh, he's been on the independency for quite a while. No, no word on what he's going to be named, but uh, you can bet it's not going to be Moxley. All right, let me go on down here. What else have I got? TNA has announced Impact is coming to Fuel TV Australia next month, beginning uh, Saturday, June 11th, 8.30 p.m. So you guys listening to me on Australia, why are you doing that? Ho Ho and noted on his Twitter that he's going to be filming new commercials for Renna Center with NFL legend Troy Aikman. And I was worried whether there was going to be any new commercials for that. I'm glad he's doing more. Matches for tonight's TNA Impact is going to be Rob Terry taking on Murphy. Uh, brother Ray and Gunner taking on Daniels um, Style. Mickey James taking on Tess Bacher. And uh, there's, the main event's going to be Angle and Velvet Sky versus uh, Jarrett, Winter, and Jelena Love. And as noted before, Ric Flair, I mentioned this quite a while ago, needs shoulder surgery uh, to prepare a uh, torn rotator cuff. But Flair decided against the surgery for now because he doesn't want to take about six months off to do the healing of the injury. Uh, probably needs the money, and I wouldn't want to do it either. But, hey, Sentara's... Uh, New WWE merchandise apparently is selling better than they were expected. And to celebrate uh, Cinco de Mayo, better check out WWE's website. 20% uh, off all selected Rey Mysterio merchandise. Matches booked, by the way, for upcoming Raw Live events. Uh, uh, if they're coming to your town, it's going to be Cena versus Miz, Mysterio versus Del Rio, Truth versus Morrison, Punk versus Kofi Kingston. Thank you guys for clicking. I gotta go.